All right, guys, so as I said, I have a special theme for you. So today, the hell? Who, who are the, where, where is this bee coming from? <clears throat> gotcha. Yeah, that's what happens when a bee comes into the lab. You're out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's just resting, it's just resting. Look, look, there's nothing wrong with it. Look, it's still flying. It's flying, fly, fly, fly away. <clears throat> Ha! Ha! Gotcha! Ha! Oh boy, oh boy! So I guess now we have a bee drill. I'm just gonna call it Booba. So, in the lead, we actually have this bee drill that I just sprayed, shocked, and caught, and now we're gonna use. So, I have poison jab on it with drill run and with X scissors. So, it's actually pretty awesome because nobody really expects I, so far a drill run because Toxic Rock's not really shielding and. A drill run to Toxic Rock is lethal. Now, and of course, Azumarion, it's pretty, pretty good against Azumarion through, even though we don't have anything poison besides Poison Chap, so it's still awesome. And then in the back, to back up this little bee, we actually have Azumarion with Play Rough and with Ice Beam. And then also in the back, we do have Crustle. And Crustle has been really good uh, so far. I, I didn't want to use it at first because everybody was using it, but it's just too good to ignore. I thought Mandibuzz gonna be like that, but no, Crustle is actually really good. And I use Rock Slide on it and Accessors, and Crustle is just taking names and kicking butts. So it's been doing really good. So guys, without further ado, that's the team. Um, let's get started with it, let's go. First battle with Beedrill in the lead, guys. <laughs> yes, and we get a Wigglytuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah, how exciting this is. Oh boy, oh boy, he's staying in. He's staying in, okay. Well, I guess that means he doesn't have a better answer, so this is good for me. If he doesn't shoot his drill run, that Wigglytuff is out, and sometimes people, all right, he, he thought I'm baiting. Well, he was wrong. So, oh, this is just as good. Now he's gonna have to shield, or that AWAC is also gone. Look at Beedrill going strong. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, and now we're just coming with our Ozu. Oh, guys, this push is already over. Oh, well, he does have a Gengar and two shields, and I understand why he didn't shield. Man, he called our bait two times and it did not work in his favor. But now, so we're just gonna go ahead and get to the second ice beam so we get rid of the shield. So we should be sitting pretty well. Um, we should probably shield this. All right, good. But it's just a bait. Now he's baiting us. He's a beta. So I should have known this because he didn't shield two times, thinking with his mindset that he, because he likes to bait. Because watch this. I guarantee you that this will be a bait as well. And I'm gonna shield, I'm gonna fall for it. Do you see this? I'm not a baiter, so I shield because I figured he would not bait. And then he's a baiter, so he's throwing baits. <laughs> I, I, I should have think reverse, but guys, if you face somebody like that who doesn't shield like that, know that they're gonna bait also two times. So I should have called that, but either way, um, we got this, we got this, we got this. We can eat that Shadow Ball, we can swap out right away and just rock that thing down with our... Uh, whatchamacallit, it, 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 show, it just barely showed up to the battle. It showed up and did this, and you are out. Or <laughs> our little Crustle, our little Crustle just showed up and said, all right, that's, his, that's the match, that's the match. Vote for Pedro, all right, let's vote for Pedro, but let's go for vote for Pedro. All right, the Calventula, all right, now that's great, now that's great, but the drill run actually uh, almost one shot it from this range, but we're just gonna bait this time, because we are locked in at this point. We no need to shield, whatever he throws will survive, by the way, but it's usually a launch because most people actually shield their B drill, so by not uh, so they always throw lunch, so you can debuff it. And now I thrown the X scissors, even though I should have thrown a drill run, so that was my mistake. But now he's definitely gonna shield, so he called my bait. So unfortunately, a little bit misplayed that, but luckily he swaps out, so this is good for us because we should be able to get to a drill run. Oh, that was clutch! That was B drill is super quick, guys, and uh, uh, I should I, I I like B drill so much right now. But it's a Halloween Cup. I'm almost thinking that maybe I make it go in Go Battle League, in just regular Great League, and I max out my, I mean, bring up my shiny one, because I have a shiny that's better ranking than this one. I should have used that one. But it doesn't have a second move yet, and it's not maxed out. So I don't want to spend the additional, it would be probably like 20, actually about 40 grand of dust. So I don't want to waste it, because I wasted it so much. I already spent half a million dust on this Halloween Cup. How about you? Let me know in the comment. I would love to know what you have spent and how much you spent. I would love to know. Anyways, 
So now we are Ozu. This is not so great for us, but it is what it is. It is what it is. So let's see what he brings in. Let's see what he brings in. And and uh, we are able to throw that ice beam. So that's very clutch for us. That is really good for us. Perfect. And we should be able to just farm it down, right? Oh yeah. And we still still maintain. All right, perfect. And all he has. Oh, we almost got to the player off. We almost got to that player off. Man, that was so close. That was so close. All right. And, and, and foul play. All right, that foul play is nothing for us because we are shield, but oh my, actually, <laughs> this is rough. This match will be very tough, guys. This match, this match is really tough because Accessor is super effective against it, but it has still so much health. I mean, it's full health and it still has a shield, right? Yeah, there we go. He shielded once. And then now, in our case, we have no shields left and the foul play will do a lot of damage for us. So this is actually still going to a really rough match. Look how close we get. So he's gonna throw a foul play. We're almost at that accessory, but that foul play gonna come through. And unfortunately, that foul play is going to do a lot of damage. Are we gonna survive this? Whew. Whew. And the second one coming through. Oh, guys, let me know in the comments. Bet right now, are we surviving this? Oh, oh, one HP and a dream. One HP and a dream. Oh my gosh, that was just unbelievable. One HP and a dream. Man, man, man. Whew. Oh boy, oh boy, that was that was something. That was something. That usually never happens to me. It usually happens to the opponent. <laughs> but I feel really good about that, and I'm very excited that actually happened to me finally. And that win, oh man, that win was something. That was something. Oh man. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, let's go. Let's go. Hello, Maravaka. All right, this is not great. This is not great. Sometimes I stay in, but I just decided just to swap out instantly and just go in and look at that somebody is using my weapon against me a whimsicott with razor leaf oh wow but he didn't show that was his mistake he should have shielded it because we're gonna be able to get another ice beam whimsicott is only good uh, in a meta where ozumarils don't really use ice beams they use hydro pump and player off that's a better meta for whimsicott which is a regular open uh, great league of course and then also the, uh, I mean, you can survive one, as you can see, it did, but everybody's using poison. So, for example, I'm coming in and I can just poison chip it down, and I shouldn't, I didn't even have to shield here. I don't know why I shielded, by the way. But it's too late now, we shielded, so it is what it is. We have to live with our choices. And guys, don't forget, the Pokemon that pops up uh, in above my head, if you name it in order of appearance, you can win 100 coins. The first three people who name it right gets 100 coins every video that I post. Uh, and then, also on Friday, just by commenting below, even if you just say hi to me or suggest a team or suggest a podcast guest, anything that you say below, even if you say I suck, for example, you can actually enter the weekly draw, which is on Friday. And Friday I give out three times 550 Poké Coins. So it's worth to play, it's worth to comment. Matter of fact, I would really appreciate if you can just stop by and say a single word, even if it's just like a smiley or whatever it is, it would mean the word to me if you could just say hi below or make a suggestion, or if you just hit like on the video. However, likes, uh, very, very appreciative, and likes also get you into the draw. But double entrance is basically like and comment below. Anyways, that was a sweaty battle. So let's go on to the next one. Matthews Pellucci? Is that the name? Is it the name? All right. So, great league, great lead. Oh, by the way, guys, after posting this video, and I believe Zionic is also posting a video on Beedrill because I saw him uh, posting a picture about it, like earlier today, I mean yesterday, uh, because you're watching it today. But, uh, no, actually it was today. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is, is that because of that, you might actually just now, today and tomorrow, you might want to run this team, but you might want to use Crossle on the lead. Because I have a feeling that so many people are going to have an anti Beedrill on the lead just because of me posting this and him posting it so you might want to do that and you know when Zyni posts the video the meta changes so you might want to think about that all right so i never actually encountered his wheels wheels if i say it right uh, but i figured i just have body slam so i'm okay here and dark pools though so we have to be careful with that but i was way too soon with the dragon breath so we should be fine here and then i'm just gonna throw a rock slide and that's it for that's willis it's out of here he probably thought i'm throwing just uh x scissors or he just kept his shield for that Azu, and I, that Azu needs to shield if he wants to stay in the game. Or oh, he shields, oh, he shields. It's all right, it's all right. We're almost able to all, all the, completely form it down. We still have our Beedrill, we still have our Azu, but we need to come in with our Azu because he has a Ice Beam ready to go. Yeah, for sure, see? 
And we don't want a shield here, so we just want to tank it with our Azu. Azu is super tanky, L little mouse right there, or bunny, or whatever it is. And this is just the game right there for sure, because whatever that Crustle has to throw, we will survive it. So this is not a problem at all. Perfect, and we can just even farm it down from here. The heat. Um, we don't we don't need to shield here, by the way. We're still good. This is perfect. Exusers, yep. It uh, tickled me a little bit. And then now we can just go on and he quits. Which I understand. Do you like my pose? And shields for days. Shields for days, guys. Shields for days. <laughs> and I always do that, and in the next patch I usually lose. <laughs> well, no, I think we win this one. So anyways, String Bell. Oh boy, is that mean that he... Oh, oh yes, a good lead. But does that mean that he's gonna have a victory ball? All right, that's a spider, then probably no victory ball. Um, all right, we're gonna bring in our Crustle. We can tank whatever he throws. And usually they throw a lunge because they expect a shield. No, it's a discharge. That's doing just a, almost just as amount of damage as the lunge, so this is fine. And we can just farm it down, this is totally fine. He's gonna probably come in with his Crustle, right? Is that what he had? No, uh, Azu, sorry. Tank, this is good for us. We're gonna throw a Rock Slide. This is perfectly fine. It's gonna do a pretty good amount of damage. We need that chip damage. So our Azu is set up to win. But it has energy, so what I should have done is probably come in with my Azu, but uh, because B drill was loaded on energy, I was like, alright, let me just come in and throw a drill run. And then maybe, well, I cannot swap out. I was gonna say, I could just swap out and catch this with the Azu, but no, we are staying in, we are shielding, and we are going to not swap out on the charge room. So we're gonna farm, 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 and we don't, because we beat that Azu, so I didn't want to give away my position, so I just decided to actually throw it. And then there we go, now we can... Oh, but he swapped out. Okay, so we are staying in then. And that's gonna be the game, because we're gonna throw that Drill Run. And this is totally fine. So, Drill Run, come on, land. Yeah, perfect, and then we can just farm it down. Or B Drill. B Drill, guys, B Drill. I, I don't even know what to say, but B Drill is legit. In this meta, B Drill is legit. It's, it's doing so much. I mean, if you guys just look back to these five matches, B Drill absolutely... And we still have a shield left. Beedrill absolutely, absolutely destroyed everyone. But again, be careful, be careful, because now so many Beedrill counters are gonna be out there, especially on the lead. So just be absolutely careful, guys. All right, happy gaming, and I will see you tomorrow.